Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is John with Education Solutions Online. And in today's video, I would like to talk with you about a way that you can teach your students about information literacy. Now, information literacy is a 21st century skill that is very important for all of our students to understand. And in this particular lesson plan here, I will show you how I'm using a website that uses fake information and give you a, a worksheet that your students can use as well in order to, to figure out how they can take information from the internet and decide whether or not it, it's real or if it's fake. And it's a really good way for our students to vet this type of information that they receive on websites. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the video. So here's a look at the website that I use in my class here. And this is from zapatopi.net slash tree octopus. And it's about teaching kids um, how to save or help save the endangered Pacific Northwest tree octopus here. Now, hopefully we all understand that octopi cannot live in trees. They can't live outside of water for uh, I'm not sure how many hours they can survive, but they definitely can't live in trees here. So what I have my students do is look through this website they read through it with a partner or in groups and once they read once they're finished reading through this then um, i have them discuss uh, ways that they can help out and i've got a, a google doc here um, so they've got to figure out uh, the location where these things um, where they grow up or where they're located um, their habitat their average size all of this information about this fictitious creature here and then once we get down to the very bottom it says here we've got uh, the author of the article so this is the most important part here is uh, the the author finding out when the article was actually published and also other articles that the author has written so what uh, what they've done here is they've gone through all this information without looking for the author the year that it was published, and also other uh, citations from this author here. So when they come down here, so, so they've got to work together, they come all the way down to the bottom. And you can see here, it says that the author of this, of this article and its subsections is Lyle Zapato. Okay, so they've got to figure out, so maybe some students will just simply click on it um, and or sim simply write it down and not really think about who this person is. This site is not associated with any school or educational organization. Hmm, it seems a little bit suspect. There is no date here on the article either. Okay, so if we click on this guy, Lyle Zapato, and we have his thing open up. Hmm, your source for conspiracies and other diversions serving the paranoid since 1997 looks really sketchy. So we can see all of these other things that he's uh, supposedly uh, published and we can tell that this guy is probably not uh, someone that you should actually use as a reference so when we come back here and then and then our, our students actually type this one and they say they don't know when this was published um, other articles that this person has published as well all these conspiracy theories that's when you can come back here and start to really talk with your students about information literacy and how they really need to learn how to vet information that they find on the internet. So, and, and that being, first of all, finding out who is the author, what are their, what are the, what are their credentials? Uh, what are some of the other articles that this author has published in the past? And uh, furthermore, when it, when it was published and whether or not it's peer reviewed either, whether, uh, if it's in a, a respected journal or not. So these are some ways that um, I, I help to, to use uh, uh, to get my students really thinking about information literacy. And I don't wanna to spend too much time on this because uh, I don't want my students spending an entire class period reading about this specific Northwest tree octopus here. I just want them to read through it and then figure out that this is a fake article. So get them thinking when they see an article, first thing I do is go for uh, the, the main points of, of discovering or vetting this, uh, any sort of information that they find on the internet. So I hope that this was very helpful. Um, I will put links to the Google Doc in the video down below. So thank you very much for watching. And of course, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also don't forget to subscribe down below. 
and hit that bell notification so that you can be reminded every time that I do post a new video. So thanks a lot, and as always, adios.